if DeAndre Hopkins leaves the Arizona Cardinals, is traded, or is somehow ending up on another team, Hollywood Brown is poised to be a big time winner. We saw Hollywood Brown finish as a top 11 wide receiver in three of his first five games with the Arizona Cardinals. And Hollywood Brown's not going anywhere for 2023. He signed his fifth year option was picked up and exercised by the Cardinals going into the 2022 season. And I wouldn't be surprised if he is a, an extension candidate. He's on the last year of his deal with the Cardinals. He's going to be 26 years old when the season starts. And Hollywood Brown, a 23.7% target share. But that went down a little bit when Hopkins came back. But it also went down, you know, Colt McCoy and David Blau and Trace McSorley throwing him the ball. Uh, We saw 10 or more targets in four of the first five games for Marquise Brown, including a 17-target game played against Jalen Ramsey, finished 14 for 140, 106 air yards in that particular game. And Marquise Brown is not one of those wide receivers who's who's going to be a big-time contributor when it comes to hitting those upside weeks, but he is going to be a wide receiver that hits like a top 10, top 18. He's a nice little flex play. Almost 30% of the time he was hit making it for your best ball teams. And he did suffer an injury, which I think also affected him later on in the season and his recovery. I think the injury plus Hopkins returning, but if Hopkins is gone and Hollywood is healthy, I think this is an interesting value play in getting Marquise Brown. He's always been a target hog. If you like the content, you found this helpful, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. If we look back in 2021, Marquise Brown, a 26.7% target share back in 2020, a 26.3% target share. And even his rookie year, nearly 19% target share. So I think Hollywood Brown, if anything, is a value play Given the news about DeAndre Hopkins, Hopkins, 34 million over the next two years is looking for an extension, but I think it's going to be the Cardinals who look to sign their newly acquired asset. The the Cardinals traded a a first round pick to, to get Marquise Brown, the former, a former first round pick himself. And Marquise Brown is, is five years younger than, than DeAndre Hopkins. So let's not get too crazy here. He's played well enough 27th in fantasy points per game. He teetered off as a petered off a little bit, as I said, near the end of the season, but he was a deep target hog as well. 21 deep targets, 17th in air yard share, 32.3, 1,060 air yards. He played almost all the snaps and all of the routes, 12th among wide receivers and snaps and route participation. You can't be upset with what Marquise Brown gave you during the first half of the season. You you were happy with that. And I think he'll replicate that high end to mid pack wide receiver two as long as Hopkins is out moving next year. Even if Kyler Murray is out, I think Marquise Brown is going to command targets. And the Cardinals are also going to prepare for Kyler being out for the first few games. I think they sign a capable back or backup quarterback and look to be competitive during this final year of Kyler Murray being a reasonable price. And also we'll see how Marquise Brown comes in financially, but the wide receiver market is, is pretty tight. So it might be just that the Arizona Cardinals lock up Marquise Brown and take some values elsewhere for the supporting cast. They still have Rondell Moore on their squad. So that may be an an interesting play and Greg Dorch as well. But Hollywood Brown is, is one of those value plays that I would be interested in seeing where his ADP falls and, and maybe one of those players that I, I take at a value in best ball drafts in 2023.